Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back and here bringing out another NBA 2K21 video. In today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. We are going to be um, doing a new uh, My League. I am still going to be doing the Detroit Pistons My League if you ever wanted to know. I still am going to be doing that. I just haven't uh, had the time. I wanted to do a new My League and I haven't been posting videos lately because I've been busy. And I just wanted to say, I hope y'all are having a good New Year's, man. It's kind of it's kind of late. We're already, it's going to be, y'all going to be seeing this on January 4th. But I just hope you're having a good new year. Hope you had a good New Year's Eve and everything. Good Christmas and everything. Well, let's get this started, man. So we are going to be doing the Charlotte Hornets. And this team, the reason I decided to do them is because they're a pretty bad team. They did go on and get Gordon Hayward, who is he's doing a pretty good start of the season. They have, mostly it was because of LaMelo Ball, man. I kind of wanted to use LaMelo Ball. I kind of want to have a plan here. Like, we have Devontae Graham, Terry Rozier, Cody Zeller, PJ Washington, Miles Bridges. This is a fairly young team too, man, besides, you know, um, Gordon Hayward and like Terry Rozier. I mean, Cody Zeller, Bismack Biombo. Terry Rozier is still kind of young, I guess. And then they did draft Vinny Vernon Carey Jr. also from the University of Duke, which I think will be, uh, I think he'll progress during this, um, during this My League series. So if y'all are interested in this My League series, man, leave a like, comment down below what we should do. My goal is kind of to like get all the ball brothers together on this team. I kind of want to get LaMelo, Lonzo, and Leangelo. I wonder if Leangelo's even in free agency. But we would have to cut someone knowing my luck here. So there really isn't much to cut here on this team. Maybe like this guy, Nate Darling. Um, let's go see if he's even in for agency real quick. Because that is something that I would like to do is to get um, Leangelo Ball. Um, I don't even know what he is. A shooting guard or small forward. I'm pretty sure he's like a shooting guard or something. But I could probably just go search his name. That would probably be easier. Um, yeah, Let's go search his name real quick and see if we can actually find him. So where is, um, that's trades for player finder. Um, let's just put ball. Um, he should be here, but let me know if all this stuff is interesting y'all, if y'all enjoy doing it. So yeah, I guess he's not even on the game. Could we actually trade for Lonzo? What would they want for Lonzo? PJ Washington, mm, I don't think I would do PJ Washington. Let me know down in the comment section if we should actually trade for LaMelo Ball. I'm thinking of doing like, um, maybe Terry Rozier and throwing him a first. This is still going to be realistic, man. We're just trying to get them up there faster than we did the Detroit Pistons. So there is no Leandro Ball in 2K, sadly. Um, there's no G League players um, as of yet because we haven't sim. But the team, man, it's not bad. Um, if we go look at our team finances, not... I meant the... Um, like, uh, where is... Where's the, we do gotta bring Devontae Graham back. Terry Rozier has one, two years left, I guess, and he'll be eligible to resign. And then Cody Zeller, we gotta bring Miles Bridges back. But I'm looking for, um, like, you know how on the other 2K, you can just look at the contracts and stuff, see who needs to be resigned. Kind of look for that, like the salary cap breakdown, maybe it's there. Yeah, so salary cap breakdown. Right now, Gordon Hayward did get a massive deal. They had to get rid of Nicholas Batum, as everyone knows he's on the Clippers now, which, I don't know, could be a good fit. Terry Rozier got two years left of his contract, and Cody Zeller got one year left. So next year, we should have around $41 million, so we could be able to bring Lonzo Ball here, if, as if that's something that y'all want to see. I might end up moving on from, uh, and it depends on all these players that accept their team options, too. Um, I might move on from Terry Rozier next year, because it'll be an expiring deal, and maybe some team will actually want to go after him. So... If we go and look at the game plan, they have the, they have Lamella Ball starting along with Malik Monk, Gordon Hayward, BJ Washington, and Cody Zeller with Terry Rozier and Devontae Graham both off the bench. So for right now, we might just make one a shooting guard because there's not really a point of having two point guards. So Terry Rozier has a higher three, but he has a higher mid range. Terry Rozier, they're both six one. Um, we'll just make Terry Rozier the be the backup shooting guard for now. And so really, everything is like. The first episode, we're not really going to be playing games and looking at stuff. We're just going to go look at everything. Like, we we'll go at stats and standings. Um, we could look at the power rankings where they have, which are probably dead bottom. Yeah, we're dead last on NBA.com. We are literally dead last on 2K Sports, and Eric has us dead last as well. So we're pretty much the worst team in the franchise right now, NBA. And who's our GM? Um, let's see if our GM is. Our GM is Freddie Hunt, and we are dead last in GM. Well, Freddie Hunt, we got to get this team going, man. Where's the Spurs GM? I'm just curious. Does he even have the right Spurs GM? Does not even the right Spurs GM? Um, so I don't even know if that's the real. Last year's standings, what were we at? We were probably like 
yeah, they were 23 and 42, still not good enough. We're gonna get this team going, man. I wanna know y'all's opinions on this. If y'all enjoy these rebuilds, like I'm gonna be having more rebuilds out for y'all. Like, I'm gonna be having a Kevin Love. Um, what if Kevin Love didn't get traded from Minnesota? I'm gonna be having a lot more stuff. I know this is kind of a lot right now, but we just gotta get this going, man. I really would like to see like the mock drafts and everything real quick, just in the team preference. Since they have us taking Jonathan Kumiana, I don't know who that is. I would like to take uh Thawmaker's brother. I feel like he's supposed to be better than Thawmaker. And then if we go to um Team Intel, clearly we are rebuilding. It says this franchise is clearly in the rebuild mode and will not be interested in acquiring aging veterans. We are not aware of any players that are in the team that has its target list. The Hornets do not have any players on the training block. With the right offer, every player on the team can be had via trade. That is a lie because Lamella Ball cannot be had. So is there a way to like put someone on a trading block? Yeah, so let's add Terry Rozier to the trade block. We are adding Angela Ball as the untouchables. And let's see if they actually like, if they actually edit it edit it like what we just did yeah it appears they're going to trade terry rosier and it says they're likely not to tr make there's not likely a trade that could be made for the mellow ball which is really good man because we don't need to trade the mellow ball and honestly this is going to be a quick little video it's not gonna be too long player development i haven't really done that um the mellow ball we can get his i want to get his shooting up but uh, clearly it's not here um, I would like to get his three-point shot up if that's possible, but it doesn't let me do anything. I'm clicking the button. Okay. And then lastly, we'll look at, um, I want to look at coaching. And then I want to look at, um, not the game plan, but team intel, player comparisons, team comparisons. No. Um... I'm trying to look for the um we'll go to prospect scouting i guess i wanted to i kind of would like to have Jalen green um we'll add to draft board add to draft board then i even want maker's brother greg brown add to draft board and then we could do maker's brother add to draft board so right now i do want to um i do want to see where it's at real quick training no Scouting, coaching, front office, choosing the front office, finances, salary cap breakdown. We already went through that. Front off, mm, it should be in coaching. System proficiency, yeah. So right now, the system proficiency, we are two and a half stars as a balanced team. And nothing really moves up. I mean, we're three stars at seven seconds, so I guess we'll make it seven seconds for now. And I kind of want to find a better center than Cody Zeller. He is on expiring deal. So we can actually trade Cody Zeller. I do want to make him a power forward just to get more trade value out of him. Or is he already power forward? No, he's not. But he goes to 82 at power forward. And we'll see if we can get something for Cody Zeller. If not, we'll probably end the video here. I'm trying to get this team moving now. We're not going to take it slow like we did with the Detroit Pistons rebuild. We're going to try and move it as fast as possible. And if we can get some young people that could come in and fit, like I could come help now. Like a Christian Wood would be nice, but. I don't want the same players that we did get on the Detroit Pistons. I want to have like two different types of people. Like Buddy Hill would be cool, but he's 27. And then you could get Mitch Robinson, your center for the future. Um, I don't think the Knicks would make that trade at all. Like I don't see the Knicks making that trade. There is one player that I would like to get. Marcus Smart is pretty cool. He can help us with the defense, the defensive side, honestly. And the Celtics honestly do need a big man, but I don't really think they would trade their, one of their best defensive players. I did have something in mind where I could do like a Miles Turner kind of, but we'll save that for another episode. Like, let me know down in the comment section if y'all think we should go after Miles Turner. I feel like he's been in trade rumors for quite some time. And I, I kind of just want to see, like, let's see, let's look at some other team intel to see who's trading and stuff. See who needs like a big or something. So if we go to uh, coaching and then oh, it's front office and then team intel. Oh, where's team intel? Like this new thing is still new to me, so I'm kind of getting used to it. Um, we could look at upcoming free agents, like Kawhi Leonard. If we can get one of these guys, man, it'd be nice. But where is the team intel? All right, scouting team intel. And who's all rebuilding, man? The Kings are rebuilding. They want to go after John Collins. The Magic are rebuilding. The Pistons, of course, are rebuilding. The Spurs are, I don't think the Spurs are rebuilding. Rebuilding to OKC. Um, rebuilding the Bulls, the 
Hawks are rebuilding. I don't know why the Hawks are rebuilding. I don't really think the Hawks should be rebuilding. They do need to re-sign John Collins. John Collins could be someone on our list to target. I would like to add him to our target list actually. So if I can go to the Hawks, I feel like that'd be a good sign for us in the off season getting John Collins. So if we can go to the Hawks and go to John Collins, add to target list. And real quick, we're just gonna look for one more trade. And like I said, if we don't find anything, we'll leave them. If I throw these two and like a 20, 20 second first, let's just see what we can get. This video is going on 10 minutes. I'll probably end it closely right here. Yeah, it's only three trades. If I take these guys out, the first out, yeah, you get more offers. I don't know why. So we could get Karis LeVert, which I don't know if that's something that they would do. Um, but other than that, there's not really much trades, man. Kevin Love, Kelly Oubre is having a pretty bad year right now. But Kelly Oubre could be someone for our future as well. But we're going to leave it right here, man. This is episode one of the... Uh, this is episode one of the Charlotte Hornets My League. We are going to be going this until like maybe, I don't know, maybe until next 2K. I want to just go with this. I am going to be doing the Detroit Pistons My League still. So don't be mad about that, man. This is the end of the video, though. I will have more videos out for y'all this whole week. I kind of slacked last week, and that's my fault. I'm sorry. But next week, for sure, we will be having a lot more videos. We'll be having the videos out Monday through Saturday like we used to. I just kind of slacked a bit, and that's my fault. I'm sorry. If you're new to the channel, guys, Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch y'all guys next time. Peace.